New tonight, starting Friday, face masks will be required for everyone in North Carolina. And this comes as the state sees an increase in positive COVID-19 cases. Good evening once again. I'm Victoria Carmen. And I'm Cody Alcorn. Governor Roy Cooper issuing the order this afternoon, live right here on Fox Carolina. Everyone in public spaces must wear a face mask. Our own Jarvis Robertson live tonight in Asheville with more on this order. Jarvis. Cody, the news broke around 3.30 this afternoon of C Governor Roy Cooper requiring that everyone in North Carolina wears a face mask in public. As of today, we have 1,721 new cases reported and 906 people in the hospital. The fight against the coronavirus is picking up. More positive cases means a renewed focus on health safety requirements. Public health experts warn that removing restrictions too fast or all at once can cause a dangerous spike in the virus that would overwhelm our medical system. Right now, North Carolina is in phase two of reopening the state, but will have to stay there a little bit longer. Testifying before Congress yesterday, Dr. Anthony Fauci said that North Carolina could see a, quote, insidious increase in community spread. The latest requirement, wearing a face mask in public spaces for everyone over the age of two. Governor Cooper says this move is to ensure that the state doesn't go backwards. Here in downtown Asheville, you'll find some people already wearing one. I'm for it. Like, I'd much rather have, have everybody trying to do at least some, something to protect, protect themselves instead of just, you know, running around all willy-nilly coughing and breathing on each other. But everyone doesn't agree with it. This, this, this virus isn't going anywhere. Like, yeah, shops are open and all, all that good, good, good stuff, but it's still, it's still, still here. It's still a very, very real thing. Governor Cooper and state health officials are hoping this move will stabilize the number of COVID cases. As for this executive order, it will go into effect this Friday, June 26th at 5 p.m., lasting until July 17th at 5 p.m. Reporting live in downtown Asheville tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.